So in my last video on benchmarking article, we talked about SteamOS 2.0 Brewmaster versus Windows 8 in terms of gaming and performance benchmarks. Now, of course, I got a bunch of crap for using Windows 8, and that's perfectly fine. I plan on doing a SteamOS versus Windows 10 video in the future, shortly after the official SteamOS release date. However, now seemed like a good time to do a SteamOS versus Ubuntu 15.10, now that 15.10 is out. Now, a couple of quick updates about these videos. I've been making Linux gaming benchmark videos for a while now, and recently I've been using my website, along with some JavaScript plugins to track the data and present it in a more usable and interactive process and I'm gonna keep doing that now I'm gonna keep doing these videos but these videos are more or less just commentary over the benchmarking articles that I write so in other words there's nothing in this video that you won't see from the article I wrote on my website EGIO which is what you're looking at now but anyways let's go ahead and dive in the process remains the same we've got GPU test 0.7.0 we got Fermark, test mark 64 Pixmark, Julia floating point 64 we got Mad Shaders and all that. We're using Counter-Strike Source, UniEngine Valley, and Metro 2033. Now, of course, these are all native Linux benchmarks running OpenGL 3.0 and 4.0. And that leads me to the most important thing about this benchmark you can see in the notes section here. These tests were conducted against SteamOS 2.x. I think that the current SteamOS version right now is 2.49 or 2.049 or something like that but it uses the AMD proprietary driver that everybody hates, 15.9. Now, as of this video right now, the AMD driver is not supported by Ubuntu because Ubuntu 15.10 uses GCC 5.0, and of course, the AMD graphics driver only supports GCC 4.9. So for the Ubuntu test, I used the Mesa 11.02 driver, which does not support OpenGL 4 natively. It supports a lot of the extensions, but as far as the applications are concerned, it does not support OpenGL 4. So I had to hack my profile and override the OpenGL version. Now the benchmarks, you can see that in all of these benchmarks, SteamOS blew the pants off Ubuntu 15.10, the biggest difference being in Testmark. Now Testmark uses OpenGL 4, so I wasn't able able to run this until after I hacked the profile. Now SteamOS got 85 where Ubuntu got 57, that's a huge drop. And the story is the same with Julia Floating Point 64, which is also an OpenGL 4.0 benchmark. Now going down to Mad Shaders, all of these were OpenGL 3 benchmarks. Now you can see that the scores are very similar. In fact, the anti-aliased worms Ubuntu actually edged out SteamOS on this one. But other than that, all the scores are very, very similar. Now down to the final battery of benchmarks, this is where you can see the proprietary AMD driver completely blowing the open source driver away. Now keep in mind, these are actual games opposed to these synthetic sort of benchmarks that you see with GPU test and mad shaders. With Counter-Strike Source, there was almost a 30 FPS difference. That's huge. You will absolutely 100% notice that, especially in a twitchy game like Counter-Strike. Now the Indian Engine Valley benchmarks were a little bit similar. But with Metro 2033 with the open source driver, the game was pretty much unplayable. But on the other hand, with SteamOS and the closed source AMD driver, 41 frames per second is definitely playable. And remember, this is with 1080p. If you don't need 1080p, you could go down to 720p and get even better frames per second. And of course, the last charts here kind of show you a summary of how the entire benchmark went. Now, there's a couple things I want to address here. The only graphics card being tested is a Radeon R7 360. The reason for that is simple. I don't have any other graphics cards. I mean, I have an embedded R7 in my APU, and maybe I'll benchmark that in the future, but I don't have any NVIDIA cards, I don't have any other Radeon cards. I don't do these benchmarks professionally, and I certainly don't have the money to go out and blow on a whole bunch of cards. Now, with that said, I would love to go out and buy other graphics cards, specifically NVIDIA ones, because I would love to see an AMD versus NVIDIA test, but as of right now, I can't do that. And then the second thing is, if you visit any forum, or either the Linux or Linux gaming subreddits, any thread that you see that is even remotely gaming or graphics related, you're gonna see people saying nothing but terrible things about the closed source AMD driver. Something else I've seen recently is that the open source Mesa driver is somehow catching up to the closed source AMD drivers in terms of graphics performance. Now it's entirely true that Mesa 11 is far superior to Mesa 10, but to say that you can get similar or the same frames per second by using the open source Mesa driver instead of using the closed source AMD driver is simply bullshit. I mean, you could see from these benchmarks, it's just not true. Contrary to the most popularly held belief, that closed source AMD driver is not bad, it's not terrible, it won't break your computer, and yes, you can play games just fine with the driver. And that's it. 